Scaphoid Fracture Reduce the fractured scaphoid and secure it using a .045 inch guide wire at the desired screw placement location through the central scaphoid access to the far cortex. Confirm wire placement and depth under imaging. A .045 inch parallel wire guide is available and may be used to assist with the placement of a second .045 inch guide wire if needed. A second guide wire is recommended to help maintain reduction and rotational stability. Measure the wire depth with a side marked standard and mini on a percutaneous screw sizer. This measurement is the total length of the scaphoid. The screw length should be 4 mm shorter than the total length of the scaphoid. Before inserting the screw, advance the guide wire through the far cortex. Open the near cortex with the blue banded profile drill. An optional blue banded long 2.7 mm straight drill is available for use in dense bone. When using the long straight drill, make sure the guide wire has been advanced through the far cortex prior to drilling through the far cortex. Insert the proper screw with the blue banded 2 mm hex driver tip. If resistance is met upon insertion or distraction occurs, stop, remove the screw, drill with the long drill and reinsert the screw. Dense bone may require using the long drill and possibly downsizing screw length. Determine correct screw positioning and length under imaging. Remove the guide wires.